Hola everyone, welcome back to another tutorial for the Pigeon Letters blog. My name is Doriana, I'm from the design team. I'm happy to be here with another tutorial of how to paint a flower or market card. For this tutorial, we'll be using gouache, so make sure you grab your palette. I have my gouache here, I'm using this brand. It's called Leno for my white gouache. We'll be using our brushes. I like to use personally this one from the Pigeon Letters. This is the Studio Round 4. Grab your pen and eraser to make your sketch. And also, obviously, we will need a sketchbook. This one is from Steelman and Burn. This is the Beta series. Um, it is really good. The paper is really thick. It is a really good paper, really good quality sketchbook. So we also need two jars of water. I personally like to use, I was using this one as you can see. <laughs> I like to use two because I like to rinse my brushes with one and use the clean water to mix with other one. I, that's why I need two jars. And as you can see, the setup is different from my other video because I like to put a protection. As you can see, here's my table, my desk, and I like to use protection so my desk is not damaged with paint or water. So make sure you grab um, a plastic or something. We're going to start by looking at references. If you saw my other tutorial, you will know that references for me are really, really important. They are going to dictate how are you going to do things. And based on those references, you can also change things up. So I grabbed my iPad. Um, I'm now on Pexels. This is a free stock photo server page where you can use all of these pictures. You're not gonna have copyright claims. And uh, it is a really good page to look for references for your paintings. Like this is a really cool setup to, to draw, to illustrate. Also these flowers, everything here is a really good, um, really good for inspiration. I'm going to look for market cards. Let's see what we can find. I was looking for references and how to say this and the best words I could find were card vendors and here are some references. It's like something like this. You don't have to copy exactly as the picture is. You can change color, you can change the form of the roof of the card and everything. Let's see, this is a really good references. I love this part. Um, the, I don't know how to say this in English. In Spanish, it's a different word. La boveda. I don't know how to say this in English. I'm an architect, you guys, but I don't know how to, I speak Spanish. That's my language, you know? Okay. And so I downloaded this. Let's keep looking. Uh, this is a nice, the colors are, are cool. Um, this one is, this is similar to the last one. Like we can use this part and then merge it with the other one. That's why it's so cool to use references because as I said, you can transform it into a fruits car, into a candy car, into a coffee car. It can be whatever you want. Um, Maybe we can do something similar to this. I love this idea of 
tangerines or oranges. I love the idea of being a fruit cart, so maybe we can also download this and see what we can do with it. Yes. Let's see if we can merge. I like this form of the card, like this base form. I love the idea of an orange card. Like it's this cute lady selling oranges and I like this part. Let's get into sketching now. I'm gonna keep my iPad around here. Let me do the base first. Doing this, you have to be careful of your scales. Like you don't want something to be really big or really small. You see that this part is really kind of like the same height as this one. And this from the ground to the base of the cart, it's like almost half of the cart, like this part. So you have to be careful of your scales so it doesn't look like it's really long or really narrow. It's like you're looking at a cute something, like a cute illustration. Um, you can see that this part, it is bigger than this part. So keep in mind that. To do my line, like brown line first. Um, that way I can place my proportions. So if I say this is my card, remember that our height is like twice this. So maybe this is way too wide and I want it a little bit narrow. Okay, I have a wheel and it's not on the center, it's not centered, it's almost like, it's like, like that, right just like, proportions, proportions, Remember, we are sketching, sketching, sketching. It is a light, light um, exercise. This should be the same size as this one. Um, if we are saying that this. So let's see. So from the roof part, we're only going to see this um, like this texture right here. And we're going to do it in a simple way. Look at this. Okay, so this is my roof. See? Sadly, I cannot see the shape, but we are going to have the details here. We're going to separate this in a way that it looks like they're at the same distance. These are details. And now, it's um, better to do it this way because even though they are not the same distance, it looks like they are the same distance. Um, so we have our card here. I made it a bit, 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 a tiny bit wider. This is going to be on front. 
who cannot see this part because it is inside the, the cart. Um, here are the cones that support the roof of the cart. And then we're going to draw, so we're locking in our proportions of how our cart is supposed to look. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, this guys on a tiny bit inside. Okay, let's see. So, our tangerine is how am I going to do this? In bold, like in bold. And we have tangerine so over it. That's a way to put it. Um, maybe we have a flower base here to decorate. Maybe the owner loves to have flowers. can also add little details like here maybe there is a sign or something like the name of the cart we can have it there or maybe it's not that big maybe we have the name of the cart here what can we name it like So we are giving it a little bit of detail here. And the center here. And this is the black card voucher. Adding those details that make it look it is a real art. The wheels. Um, maybe it has another one like this. And the last one like this. Beneath all that, you can see this part of the car, so don't forget it because then it's going to look like it's not real. So here it has this part and this part, and the wheels are going to show there. If you are not really good at drawing circles, you can always aid yourself with a circle template or something. I have one, but okay, it's not big enough. Also, make sure the center of your wheels are like in the same position because then if they are going to look a little bit weird, you know. Here. Let me see if I can aim myself with this. Yes. Yes, 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 yeah. Yeah. 
I still don't know how we're going to how we are going to name our cards. So maybe maybe this is like a little blackboard that says the prices, like maybe two dollars and a little illustration of a tangerine here or an orange. I don't know. Is this an orange card? Is this a tangerine card? What is it? What are you? a bunch of orange leaves so maybe this is an orange card and there will be a really cool way to decorate this card like it can add so much personality So maybe we can have here like name like fresh oranges. Oh, it can be citrus flakes. Like citrus be citrusy. Citrusy. Maybe. Looks cool. Yeah, it can be citrus. We can start like building our color palette. I have a plate here. I love to mix my paints on a plate. I, I move my iPad because I don't want a mess. Oh, <gasps> no! See, those were the messes I was talking about. Always protect your tables. to do here a mini version of the card to test some of my colors maybe have the main card to be orange and have It's like doing a thumbnail version, so you can test your colors out. Um, yeah, I guess I can do that. And maybe uh, use a little bit.
It looks a little bit watercolory, but I will um, work on it. I think they look good, like the way they are now. I'm going to use this brush that is like bigger in size. I will be applying um, shadows and stuff later. Um, now I'm just applying my base layer.
I'm going to paint the baskets, the baskets now. And I mixed um, burnt sienna with white and a little bit of yellow. So it has that orange undertone, like that yellow undertone we're using. So it doesn't feel like too um, different. It doesn't feel like it's a different shade or anything. I'm going to be painting the baskets.
And this is the final illustration. Thank you for following along in this tutorial. I'm so, so excited to see what you create. Remember, you can do anything you want. It doesn't have to be this orange card. It can be a coffee card. It can be a flower card. So make it your own. Make sure to tag me at by Doriana Studio and the Pigeon Letters. Thank you and see you at the next tutorial. Bye.